Hello and greetings to our incoming ninth grade students and families. My name is Pete Biskins. I'm the assistant principal here at Apple Valley High School, and this screencast will give you important information about our uh, upcoming registration season. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about who we are at Apple Valley High School. We are firm believers in the AAA philosophy. The AAA philosophy says that the academics, arts, and athletics are all valuable components in creating a well-rounded student. And so we try to make sure that all three areas are treated as excellent learning opportunities. So whether you're in the classroom, out on the field of competition, or on that stage, we believe those are great opportunities for our students to learn and grow. Apple Valley has had great success. If you combine the arts and athletics, no school in the state of Minnesota has won more state championships than Apple Valley High School. We have a tradition of excellence. Apple Valley High School is also a STEM high school. We are the end of the STEM corridor. And so for many of you, you began at Cedar Park or Echo Park in your STEM experience. You continued on to Valley Middle. And now here at Apple Valley High School, that will continue. But it's okay if you weren't in any of those pathways because the STEM thinking is incorporated throughout all of our curriculum. We believe that our students not only need to be problem finders, but solution makers. That is what the colleges have asked for. That is what businesses are asking for. And so we wanna make sure that our students are developing these thinking pathways throughout their time at Apple Valley. So let's talk specifically about registration and our graduation requirements. You will see in the core areas that in language arts and social studies, students need four years, 12 credits in those two areas. In science and math, in order to graduate, you need three years or nine credits in those two core areas. But you'll see that most students will take more than just three years in science and math. Students are also required to take two credits in wellness, three credits in physical education, and one credit in safety education. Beginning with the class of 2028 and beyond, students will also need to have three credits in the arts. And you can see here what that all can entail. Students will also be required to take one course in personal finance, and that will be taken during their 10th, 11th, or 12th grade year. And so plan ahead a little bit. The magic number, as you see on the bottom of this slide, is 66. That is what is needed in order to graduate. So let's talk a little bit about specific new things that are coming on for the class of 2028 and beyond. Students are required to get at least three credits, the equivalent of one year in the arts. They will also need that same amount in physical education. Citizenship and government has moved from its ninth grade spot into the 11th or 12th grade year. And as I said at the end of the last slide, students will need at least one credit in personal finance, and that will be taken in grades 10, 11, or 12. And so you have some time to think about where that might be. Ninth graders, when you register, you will have seven classes in each trimester. The first five are pretty standard. Across the board, you will have that throughout the year. Then you will have some elective choices or the potential for a study hall. And don't worry if you are taking a study hall that you won't get to 66. You'll have plenty of time in your schedule throughout four years to get to 66 credits. And so a study hall can be a great place to give yourself some time to study and get work done. Specifically within the core areas, let's talk about the difference between on level and honors, beginning with English. The big thing here that I will tell you is most honors English 9 students love to read. There is a lot more outside reading text and homework in the honors class. And so if that sounds like your jam, honors English 9 could be the place for you. This year and beyond, our ninth graders in social studies will take either World History 9, which is the on-level course, or AP World History. Now, AP World History is a college-level course, and that's really important to note. That's different than an honors class. This is a college-level course, and so students are expected to be at an advanced level in both the reading 
and in their homework completion abilities, their analysis, the whole deal. This is a college level course. And so that'll be important for you to note as you think about taking that class. In the sciences, ninth graders take earth science. Again, both of the classes use the same text. However, there are additional readings in the honors level. And I hope you're starting to feel that message that the honors level classes, the reading is a very, very important piece. And so keep that in mind as you are working on your registration. As students move into ninth grade math, there are a lot of different choices. Most students are currently in Algebra 1, and your next class when you come to ninth grade will be Intermediate Algebra. Some of you, if you're doing really well in Algebra 1 and are looking for a challenge as you come into ninth grade, you may want to take fast-paced Intermediate Algebra. It is exactly what it says, Intermediate Algebra at a faster pace, and the purpose is so students who want to move into an honors track as 10th, 11th, and 12th graders, they may get into that track by going into the fast-paced intermediate algebra. If you are currently in an accelerated intermediate algebra or beyond in your math, then you should consider honors geometry, perhaps honors algebra two if you're already in an honors geometry class, and so on. My best advice to you is to talk to your current math teacher. They will know what is the best pathway for you when it comes to math. Now in our FIAD Wellness Safety Ed, the key to remember is when is your birthday? Because safety education revolves around your birthday and turning 15 during the school year. If that will happen to you on or before November 30th, then you should register using option A, which is safety ed to begin your year, that's safety ed A, Fitness for Life B and Wellness C. All three of those things are required. If you're going to turn 15 between December 1st and March 1st, then you will consider Safety Ed B, which is in the middle trimester. And Option C would be for those students who are turning 15 near the end of the school year. If you are not going to turn 15 during the school year, that's okay. You'll take Safety Ed your first trimester of your senior year. So then you can take that examination to earn your learner's permit. Students not taking safety ed, you'll take fit for life and wellness and then some other elective. You can choose that elective in the FIAD area or we have plenty of other areas. Many of you are currently in choir or band and you can continue on that pathway to earn your three credits in the arts. You may want to get into visual arts You'll start off with our Intro to 2D and 3D Art, and that opens the door to many other art classes such as drawing, painting, ceramics, jewelry, etc. Our business department has many great offerings, beginning with our Intro to Business and then beyond to podcasting, to personal finance, to keyboarding, all of those things in our business department. Family and Consumer Science, Many great opportunities there. They have a course titled Life 101, which covers a lot of the personal finance uh, standards that will come up for you. You can also get into many of our cooking classes as ninth graders. We have a child development, child care course, lots of great classes in there. Performing arts, we've talked about with our choir, band, and we also have dance, a great opportunity for you to explore that artistic side through dance. And we have that as a year long course or there are some semester options as well. Technology education, our STEM lab, our woods lab, our metal shop. Great opportunities for students who like to work with their hands and be creative problem solvers. In the world language, we have four offerings at Apple Valley, Spanish, Japanese, German, and French. And many colleges, as you will see, are looking for students to have at least two years of world language. And so think about those as you're moving through your high school days. AVID and WESEP are two programs that require an application. AVID is Advancement via Individual Determination. WESEP is a Work Experienced Program. If you're interested in either of those, talk to your counselor and they can get you onto that application process. We've talked a little bit about post-secondary and over 90% of our students will go on to either a two-year or four-year experience. 
There are different levels that colleges are looking for, and this slide kind of gives you an idea of what they tell us they are looking for in their students. And so you can see that many schools might be great fits for you based on what you like to do. And so this slide can be helpful for you to know what they are looking for. Finally, as we wrap this up, if you are a social media person, there are some great sites that you can follow on our Twitter account that have our academics, arts, athletics, and our STEM program, but also our website, avhs.district196.org, and then you can find our registration information there as well. All that you'll need as you go through this process together. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that you have a great experience. Please reach out to Apple Valley or your current middle school counselors if you have any questions. Have a great day and go Eagles!